Hello my soccer universe! Sometimes life as a collector throws you up some curious opportunities, I would say. Um, Euro 2016 is not a tournament that I remember very fondly, however it threw up on the Puma side three absolutely great away jerseys. I absolutely love this Austria away jersey. I even love the Switzerland more and I think the Italy one is also a keeper for sure. I would even argue that Puma had probably among the best jerseys in that competition. And so <laughs> I found another one for really cheap, not an away jersey this time. This time we have home, home, home jersey from Puma on Wilhaben. And I uh, was going back for it, it was hanging around, but I said it actually kind of fits. It's a nation that is qualified for the Euros where I thought would be nice to have another home shirt as well. So I would say we'll open it straight up and see which team did I get here from Puma. You can take a guess right right now. I think it's, it, this shirt is related to one of the moments of the tournament in 2016. So I've already pre cut it. Let's open it up. Red. Who could that be? Well, I'll let you know, it's the most neutral of shirts possible. <laughs> and that should give it away. It is the compliment to this brilliant Switzerland away jersey, which I still think is the best Swiss jersey ever. I found the Swiss home jersey. Eight euros. Eight euros for a relatively simple looking Switzerland jersey. I have a relative wild looking one, the one from 2018, so I thought this might be a nice compliment because Switzerland usually has it a little bit more somber. Um, I really like this part here where they have Switzerland with all the Swiss crosses. I think that's a pretty cool feature, which is of course also uh, in that one uh, there, uh, but otherwise a very, very simple design. Again, my only and my major gripe with this one and with all Swiss jerseys. Yes, I know this is the Swiss flag. However, classic Swiss jerseys used a roundel with the cross in there, which looks much better. The square to me doesn't look nice. Federation logo, I'm fine. Also, please Switzerland, no national team jerseys with a sponsor, even if it's so pulled away, but that's one thing. Other than that, it doesn't do much more than that. We have the white collar on the front that goes red, then all around. It's blank on the back, and you can see there's a slight uh, hooped shadow pattern in there. It's not even hooped, it's just hor 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 horizontal stripes. Well, maybe it's hooped, it's broken up here and there a little bit. But yeah, Switzerland, it's my third Swiss jer uh, jer jersey. As Austrians, we usually kind of a little bit ignore the Swiss uh, because they're just better. <laughs> we just ignore their existence. On the other side, there's you know, this silent acknowledgement that they're actually doing, they're doing it better and they're richer and everything like, like that. So it's a silent ri r r r rivalry. On the other side, you know, I personally I actually like Switzerland in a way as well. So yeah, let's hang it up and I'll tell you a little bit more about this one because there's another curious story. Okay, I think these are not all the Puma jerseys that I have from Euro 2016. Actually, five is quite a good number. Now, uh, you see the Austria jersey. Uh, Austria faced Switzerland in a friendly in late 2015. I think Switzerland won that one. Uh, and Austria, I think, debuted these jer jer jerseys and then... Switzerland debuted these and we already had released a home jersey and the echo in the media was Switzerland is just copying what we are doing and I guess if you look at this there is a point there however Austria has this gradient effect and the Austrian flag in there still the white sh shoulders where Switzerland is a little bit cleaner and I like this a teeny bit better. The one thing is, I think I like the color on the Austria shirt better. I don't like the white on the front. But otherwise, I think I would have preferred the Swiss design. Still would prefer, still prefer the Swiss design. So that's my purpose, as far as my opinion. Of course, the Jersey Warnman Shakiri scored that freaking equalizer against Poland in the round of 16. Switzerland got eliminated then on penalties. So yeah. Please let me know what you think 
about all these jerseys, but especially about the Switzerland jersey. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.